Hello, my name is Brandon Stockstill. I'm a community planner with the National Park Service in the Rivers, Trails and Conservation Assistance Program and a 2014 graduate of the Arizona State University uh, Urban Environmental Planning Program. Uh, I am excited to have a couple minutes to talk to you about uh, my professional experience and how ASU and their graduate program helped me prepare for that. Um, and to share some of the examples of the work that we do here in the National Park Service outside of National Park units. Um, in my, my current job as a community planner, um, within the National Park Service, you know, most of my colleagues and most of the people that the public are familiar with are the, the ranger uniform wearing park uh, employees that you typically see at park units. So think of, you know, the Grand Canyon, Zion National Park, uh, Yellowstone, places like that. And there's a huge array of jobs within the National Park Service. Uh, you know, larger parks have everything from their own schools and housing and community planners. You know, the Grand Canyon has its own city basically within the park and they have planners that do that kind of planning within the park. Um, you have interpretive rangers, you have historic preservation rangers, maintenance, you know, all that kind of stuff to do to protect those resources. Um, and in addition to, to maintaining national parks, the Park Service mission also includes the idea of extending the benefits of preservation, conservation, and recreation beyond park boundaries around the country and around the world. Uh, so to do that, the Park Service has a program called the Rivers, Trails, and Conservation Assistance Program, or RTCA. And uh, our program is a relatively small program. There's about 80 of us around the country, uh, one or two per state. And our job is to work with communities to help them to do their own conservation and recreation projects. So we act as uh, technical assistance, you know, advisors, project managers, kind of a quasi consultant almost to work with them um, and to help their local champions to do their own projects, you know, so that people don't have to travel to national parks to be able to get outside and recreate. Uh, this has been particularly, uh, I think, relevant this year as many people are working from home. You can see my uh, my basement office here. But as people have, have looked for new ways to get outside and to have safe uh, recreation opportunities due to the pandemic, um, this has really impacted our work and we've seen a huge uptake in interest and use of local trails, local open spaces um, and things like that. So it's, a, it's an incredibly interesting and dynamic job. Our focus is on, again, conservation and recreation projects. So um, I've been working here in the state of Utah. I'm part of the, the Park Service's Intermountain region. So from Montana to Texas and Arizona, you know, Utah and kind of that whole Intermountain area. Um, and we, you know, we've worked on everything or I've, I've worked on everything from trail master plans uh, to, um, you know, trailhead inventories, environmental education program developments have helped nonprofits get started, um, you know, local trail organizations or stewardship groups to partner with cities or organizations to adopt trails and maintain trail systems. I've done a number of river restoration projects where we've uh, been able to go in and remove, you know, houses and cars and debris and stuff from, from old channelized rivers and help to restore them to their native uh, habitat to bring back or encourage you know native species to return to provide recreation opportunities on these rivers and waterways. So it's a really really diverse uh, uh, job and, and experience. Um, it's an absolute dream job. I love it. Um, and our you know my colleagues across the country we have background in planning. Uh, we're land managers, hydrologists, foresters, outdoor recreation managers. Um, you know, and so we look at everything. You know, just a wide array of different types of projects. Um, if you're interested in our TCA, um, you can find us by Googling NPS National Park Service uh, RTCA. Um, and you can you can actually pull up a database and look at different projects that we do around the country. Um, it's like again, really interesting. I, I'm very passionate about this job. Absolutely love it. Uh, one of the best parts is you get to, again, you get to get that boost of, of technical support or to be a cheerleader for those local advocates that have been doing these projects. Um, you know, you really get to, to travel around Utah and meet all the local Leslie Nopes, you know, that are just so passionate about their community and want to see something happen. Um, 
and and you get to help them make that happen. Uh, you know, whether it's providing design and technical expertise, helping to facilitate bringing in agency partners and figuring out what role everybody needs to take or what process we need to go through. Um, you know, whether it's helping them to find funding sources. I work with, uh, you know, nonprofits, state, federal grants and trying to figure out how to leverage donations and funding and and, uh, you know, really help them to be successful. It's again, a very unique and awesome opportunity. I, I absolutely love it. Um, and I think that's that's one of the best things about being a planner is, you know, just in my short career, uh, uh, six years now, I've had three very distinct jobs, again, doing this kind of consulting work with uh, military installations and long range compatibility planning to local city work, doing these neighborhood plans and really diving down into the weeds of community development uh, to this new work in recreation and conservation, you know, doing large landscape projects or small area management plans. Um, and that, that's what I love about planning. That's why I got into this field is there's just a wide array of things that you can do. I guess my advice for what it's worth is, uh, you know, when I when I started getting ready to move into the planning field, I tried to really develop a, a professional toolkit or, or skills that a set of skills that I could advertise to partners. So, you know, I did economic impact analysis studies. I was involved in num numerous, uh, you know, professional projects, doing downtown plans, doing these kind of uh, model projects, um, develop GIS skills, you know, some design skills, things like that. So I could go to a, a potential job or a potential uh, project and say, hey, here's what I can bring to the table and then remaining flexible to the type of project that that is again whether it's this kind of dealing with federal military installations or local neighborhood plans um, you know i think if you if you have those skills if you can be charismatic and communicate well um, particularly with the public i think one of our greatest roles as planners is to be advocates and to be educators so we want to hear from the public um, i think a lot of people often don't you know, don't have an appreciation for the cause and effect that goes into planning, you know, the science behind it. If you, you know, if you follow these economic policies or these transportation policies or these land use policies, this will be the result in your community. Um, people know what home and what a neighborhood feels like to them, but they don't know how it gets there. And as a planner, we get to help them do that. So I would say just to be open minded about that, about again, uh, developing your personal skill set and being able to uh, try new scenarios. I also think that there's a um, a huge opportunity just to reach out to people and ask them what they do. Um, you know, I have I have classmates and colleagues that do everything from disaster preparedness and response to, you know, transit planning and all that that modeling work to local cities to I'm in the park service as a planner, which I had no idea existed five years ago. So there's just a huge array of, of jobs and opportunities available. So um, you know, go out there, ask questions, look around, try new things, um, you know, gain experience and and just uh, I think as planners, we have a unique opportunity to to be those community champions and to do good. So um, I hope this was interesting um, and helpful. Please feel free to reach out to myself um, or any of my colleagues within the RTCA program. Um, we're always interested in sharing what we do, and, and I think we do a lot of unique work around the country and uh, I wish you all the best and good luck. Thank you.